Hey, people of the interwebs, it's me, Brandon Noel. Um, first off, I uh, want to apologize for this intro. I recorded one with my web camera. Actually, I recorded two, and uh, for whatever reason, the uh, web camera mic decided to either break or it just decided it didn't want to be functional. So I had no audio for the intro that I recorded. Um, with that said, that's this is part of like an, a, a series I've been doing, kind of the let's draw, where I sit down, I draw, I speed up the footage, and then kind of give you a commentary track over uh, the art process. So um, uh, uh, let's just jump right into it. This is a sketch card for the uh, Kickstarter that we're currently running, The Last Templar. Hey people of the interwebs, it's me, Brandon Noel. Um, this is another video in the series I've been doing, kind of like the Let's Draw. And uh, this is a Kickstarter, right now we're running a Kickstarter, and Kickstarter is very, uh, it, it, it's very time consuming. A lot of people don't realize how time consuming a Kickstarter campaign is. But this is just a, a quick sketch card for the contributors. I decided for the sketch cards, I wanted to do something a little bit more dynamic given the nature of the book. Um, also, it, it, it feels kind of cheap if you're actually paying for one of these sketch cards to just get a small sketch card of, you know, the face of the character or whatever. But uh, with that said, there's not a whole lot to talk about as far as the art goes with this this uh, piece. Um, it took me about 30 minutes or so to draw it. Um, because the sketch cards are two and a half by three and a half and it would have taken me a lot quicker to draw it but I had to um, sharpen some uh, color pencils the Prisma color pencils and uh, I didn't have a color pencil sharpener or sharpener so I just used a knife to, to whittle the, the pencil down and sometimes as an artist you do have to improvise and just you know okay I can spend an hour looking for my sharpener or I can just use this knife and get the project done. Um, you know, there's, like I said, there's not a whole lot to talk about the art. It's pencils, it's ink, it's uh, markers, and then I went in and did some flesh tones with some Prisma colored pencils. But what I would like to talk to uh, talk about very briefly is just deadlines and staying on a deadline. Um, being late in comic books will kill your career. That, that, that's just it. It, it. You're done. If you cannot be consistent, um, you're not a commodity. And because uh, that's the hardest part about comic books is, yeah, people can draw, but a good hunk of people can't stick to a deadline. They can't. Um, I'm talking about amateurs. When you step into the, the professional arena, you have to be on it. Um, a lot of main publishers will say a page a day, you know, is what you should be drawing a one professional page a day. And for some people that, you know, that should be an eight hour day. You should put eight hours into that one page. Now, Mr. Cuddles, when I draw that, I can, it, Mr. Cuddles is a very cartoony uh, book and I know I'm going to get a lot of the texture from the watercolor that I add into that book so I don't I don't spend eight hours on a page of Mr. Cuddles I'll be honest um, in eight hours I could probably get four or five pages done of Mr. Cuddles but you you need to be consistent as an artist and that's what that's the difference between being a commercial artist and being a fine artist fine artist is the guys who are going to be in the gallery and they're going to sell one painting for $36,000 or whatever it is. But that's their yearly salary is that one painting, that one commission. Um, some, the, these are the starving artists you hear about. Uh, what I do commission, you know, I, I'm working eight hours a day, you know, putting out content, boom, 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 boom. And it's the ability to stick a deadline that allows you to do that. And you, you have to know, 
okay, I'm going to draw four hours here. I'm going to take a break and then I'm going to come back and draw another four hours. And you, even if you don't feel like it, you have to do it because that's what allows you to make a living at this as an artist is it's consistent. It's your consistency that, that you're going to get work for or work, ju you know, judged on um, more so than your technique. And that's what makes you a commercial artist. If you're looking at comic books seriously as a career, it's the ability to turn in work on a consistent basis. Anyone can draw one really good page. It might take them 10 years to draw that one really good page, but you need, if you're going to do this as a career, you have to turn in one really good page every day. And that's what makes comic books such a hard and tricky medium. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the sketch card.